Hi, I'm Richie from the Super Media Bros Podcast, and welcome to the first episode of Cult Cinema Showcase. On this offshoot edition of the podcast for the YouTube channel, we're going to be taking just a small look at some of the films that we cover on the Cult Cinema Showdown series of the podcast. Today, we're going to kick this episode off with Champagne and Bullets. This was released by Vinegar Syndrome, who have done an amazing job of restoring uh, films that have either never before been released or have only had a limited number of releases, uh, mostly dealing in cult films, B-movies, things of that nature. We've covered a few of the shows uh, that they've released on our podcast before. This one we actually just covered more recently, and this release is really awesome. It's got... uh, a brand new commissioned artwork on the front cover. And it's even got the alternate cover, which vinegar syndrome does this a lot. They actually give you covers that you can swap within the DVD cases themselves. This one also comes with a double sided poster. This release was limited to 6,000 copies or so. And I got 1,112. They're all hand numbered. This release has a ton of special features and also includes the road to revenge and get even cuts. The get even cut is probably the most widely known version of this film. However, in the champagne and bullets cut, you're getting the entire thing put together in its original form before any cuts were made. This film was remastered in 2k from the original negative scan as is customary with damn near every vinegar syndrome release. It has a commentary track with writer, director, producer, star John D. Hart, a brand new audio interview with John D. Hart, the Road to Revenge re-edit sourced from video, the Get Even re-edit also sourced from video. It's got the original Get Even trailer, and it even has subtitles, which most films these days do have subtitles, but I like that Vinegar Syndrome goes the extra mile with these re-releases and includes them because some companies just don't do it. Now, as far as the remaster goes it's beautiful it's beautifully done uh it looks great i mean granted it was shot in 1992 1993 so it still has that quality that it's definitely an older film but even the video sources that they use to get the get even and road to revenge cuts are pretty well done considering it's video drinking champagne and loving you to the break of dawn not knowing the sound of bullets will soon be strong the runtime altogether for the Champagne and Bullets cuts around 99 minutes, so be prepared to like sit back with a meal and watch this movie, or beer, or what have you. The Road to Revenge cut is about 75 minutes long, and it's probably the most streamlined version of this movie if you want to watch it in a shorter amount of time. The Get Even cut is around 89 minutes, which it kind of includes some of the nudity that was found in the Champagne and Bullets cut, but not a lot of it. And the, the Road to Revenge cut actually cuts out a lot of the over-the-top nudity. In fact, I think most all of it. And the Champagne and Bullets cut has, like, everything in it. So if you're looking for the definitive cut of this film, you've got it. I don't give a damn what you want. As of this recording, there are still some copies of this film left on VinegarSyndrome.com. And if you want to get it, I highly suggest going to get it there because who knows if it's going to be available ever again after this or at all. The price is worth it. It was about $25 when I pre-ordered it. Uh, But the film is definitely worth it if you're a cult film enthusiast like I am or if you just want to add it to your collection. If you're interested in checking out this movie, definitely give it a shot. And if you'd like to hear us review this, it's actually in the episode in the show notes below. So scroll up and click there and it'll take you directly to the podcast episode. Be sure to click the like button, hit the bell to subscribe for notifications. Subscribe to us if you're here and you like it. You can find all of our episodes on this channel. And if you like this video, maybe we'll do some more in the future. Until next time, shades on, we're off.